crazy chef here, trying on Galaxy Productions. I thought today I would show you how to do my take on a salmon risotto. Now I'll put the um, camera directly to the hob so you can actually see what's going on. Enjoy. Right, we have a heavy base, fairly heavy base saucepan here. Uh, bring it up to temperature. Right. I'm going to put about two tablespoons in British, two tablespoons of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. It takes a while to do this because it's coming out of spell. Into the pan. I may put some more glugs in later as it as it, as it sees. Right, and now this is fairly hot, so I've already preheated it. I'm now going to put in some chopped up, fairly finely chopped up celery and onion. I've pre-done that for you. Let's get Right, I'm just gonna it's just gonna be done for that. I'm just gonna stir it around for about a couple of minutes, two or three minutes, just to get it nice and soft and I'll put the fries in. Fries is coming along nicely. When the onions get soft, they go a bit transparent so you know when they're done. Nice and soft. And now I put two chopped garlic cloves in as well. And now we put the risotto rice, there's arborito risotto rice, Italian risotto rice. Basically, guide is one handful per person plus one over. I'm putting in about four ounces, half of. Now that will absorb the moisture. Stir it there. Yeah. There's only a bit of oil, I mean, there's only the oil in there, there's, no, there's nothing else in there. Right, now my next game is why I do it. Stick some white wine in. This is peanut, peanut Gregio from Venice, believe it or not. Now, the um, they obviously didn't do it that way on the apprentice bar, I would prefer to do it wide to start with. That, the risotto rice will absorb that, and as it absorbs I'll start putting some chicken stock in. I've made chicken stock from a couple of oxo cubes and a more stock cube, which is my favourite, to mix them up. That's right, the flavours. Keep stirring. Some people just put a big onion in and let it settle down, but I prefer. Just keep the old um, let it, uh, as the risotto rice absorbs the wine or the stock, you then top it up. You don't put a load of fluid in to start with, just let it gradually absorb. And as the rice gets more translucent and soft, you know the risotto rice is done. Right, okay. Of course, the advantage of doing this is that as the crazy chef, the crazy sh the chef has some of it as well as some of it goes in the um, risotto, which is always a good reason to use wine in the risotto. You don't have to use wine, you know, just to eat half of the day or Cheers. Well, as the, as the rice is absorbing the uh, why I'm now going to label in. I do. I don't. I just label in a label full of a couple of labelfuls of chicken stock. And carry on stirring till it absorbs. The rice will absorb this. Right. The risotto. I keep stirring it. A lot of it's been absorbed. And I'm going to do something different now. It's nearly. It's quite soft. I'm going to put some pre-soaked shiitake mushrooms in for a bit of flavour. And I've got some white chopped mushrooms in. I'm deviating from the um, television script, of course. I usually would um, do that separately, cook it separately, but 
um, to side of the stove, I'm going to stick it, cook it into the same pot. Right, pans up to heat. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Put the salmon in there. The salmon I've marinated in Worcester sauce, not for very long, and I've got some black pepper on it. Splashes quite a lot when you've got salmon in uh, oil. It's only a little bit, only a little bit. It's a non stick frying pan, only a little bit of oil. Look at that, lovely risotto. Look at that, look at that, lovely risotto. Right, the salmon is done, and the risotto's done. And I'm just going to put a couple of uh, broken up basil leaves in the risotto. Just a little bit of aniseed flavour. I'll be plating up in a second. Just give it a second. Excellent, the risotto is nice and translucent and soft. Right, the risotto first. So this is risotto rice, porcini mushrooms and white mushrooms with uh, onion and garlic and celery. Yeah, I put too much in there. Bit there, there. So it's like volcanic lava. It's not wet, it's not mushy. There we are. There we are. 